Paul, when you look at the Hamburg connection, this, the fact that uh, he was attending, Siddiqui was attending the same mosque, Mohammed Atta had attended, what else is being learned about that connection? Well, that's right, Nick. Extraordinary enough, uh, Siddiqui was attending the same mosque as Mohammed Atta, moving in his very same circle in Hamburg in the late 1990s. And all these years later, when, in March 2009, he traveled to the tribal areas of Pakistan with an 11-strong group of jihadists, from the city of Hamburg. He was eventually picked up in Kabul in July, transferred to American custody in Bagram Air Force Base. And it's there that he's been providing the details about this plot, about a Mumbai-style attack against Europe, signed off from Osama bin Laden. Uh, this is an individual now in custody, considered a high-value detainee, we understand, over there. Um, so that's the Hamburg connection uh, to the information we're learning about this plot uh, coming out of Pakistan right now, Nick. Paul, I suppose it begs the question, and have your sources answered this question, uh, if this was a mosque Mohammed Atta attended, why wasn't it closed down sooner by German authorities? Well, German intelligence agencies have been monitoring this mosque uh, for many years. And the reason it wasn't closed down is very simple. It was providing a lot of very useful intelligence on these jihadists. It's believed there are around 45 jihadists operating in Hamburg. They were getting a lot of useful information. But over the years, too many people started coming to these uh, mosques, people who admired al-Qaeda, who wanted to follow in the footsteps of Mohammed Atta. And it became too much of a security problem because it was a recruiting magnet for jihadists right through the European continent, Nick. So they eventually had to shut it down uh, just a few months after Siddiqui was arrested uh, in Afghanistan. What, what, is this what is the legacy that this has left German authorities and how, how big or large would they compare the jihadist problem with other European countries? Well, a lot of Western countries, Nick, have, have a significant problem uh, with al-Qaeda extremism, and increasingly Germany is right front and center with that. Uh, German officials tell us there's increased radicalization uh, in the country, and not only that, more and more youngsters are traveling to the tribal areas of Pakistan to receive training. And the worry is that some of them are going to get involved in terrorist plots. Already uh, in 2007, we saw a plot uh, to target Americans in Germany linked to a German cell. Uh, so there's a lot of concern concern in Germany. Around 200 people uh, have traveled to the tribal areas to train there since 9-11, an official told us. Uh, so real concern there, Nick.